Discovery was in space uh, 39 times and returned safely 39 times, the most of any of the shuttles. The shuttle Discovery was authorized for construction in 1979. The contract was let to uh, Rockwell Corporation, and Discovery flew in the middle of 1984. So it was now all that time wasn't construction, but uh, most of it was. That's what the shuttle was built for, to carry heavy cargo into low Earth orbit. You could lift 50,000 Earth weight pounds to about 100 to 400 miles above your head. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990. Discovery helped to build the International Space Station, taking large parts of it. When the shuttle gets into space, the three main engines in the aft end of Discovery are dormant. There's no fuel for them anymore because, that, remember, that orange tank separated. So the three engines are dormant. There's no power for them. But you still have maneuverability that you have to do in space. Pitch, yaw, and roll, just like airplanes, and the ability to dock with the International Space Station or a satellite that's orbiting Earth. So those thrusters, and there's something like 44 of them on the nose and on the tail, have a different fuel source, and they burn for several seconds and steer the, um, the shuttle uh, while it's in orbit. And the, sh the shuttles were tremendously um, maneuverable in orbit. If an astronaut lost a tool while they were doing some work, they could maneuver the, uh, the shuttle to go get it. And if NASA on the ground said, hey, you know, we got a piece of space debris we think is going to be a little bit too close to you, they can move or maneuver away from it. The shuttles were hit by a lot of space debris, but very, very small pieces that didn't cause much damage. They started flying the shuttles in space forward just like an airplane would fly. But they were getting pitting on the windscreen. Uh, debris in space was actually causing damage to the windscreen. So they decided, okay, we'll solve that problem. We turned the shuttle around, because there's no friction in space. They turned the shuttle around and flew it backwards. So any damage would be caused to those um, nozzles in the aft end, and the nozzles were interchangeable.